Okay, uh, today, today uh, we shall talk about optimal lag selection. Optimal lag selection meaning that how many lags we should adopt, we should choose. How many lags we should choose for a particular model that is called optimal lag selection meaning that the question is how many lags we should choose for any particular model that means uh, the, the the that means uh, uh, that means there could be lag 1 there could be lag 2 there could be lag 3 there could be lag 4 or there could be lag 5. The question is that how to choose the lag? How many lags we should choose for a for a particular model? That 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 we we want to know today. There are few ways for lag selection one way one way is to choose the lowest akaike information criteria value that is one guideline the lower the aic value better the model the lower the aic value better the model that is the guideline of choosing a good model okay so now uh, we can check it here suppose uh, we have a model such as this one that I am opening up uh, suppose we, we have a model we have the three variables cons export and GDP and the data from 1960 to 1995 so I'm opening all the variables one by one I'm opening as a group this is cons this is export and this is GDP and the data from 1960 until 1995 so this is my data my variable so here we shall be running an unrestricted var model by taking different lags then after taking different lags then we shall be choosing which model is the best or which model we should okay so first we run the model unrestricted var model I go to quick I go to estimate var then I write all the endogenous variable such as cons then ex then GDP we have these three variables and I choose unrestricted var unrestricted var means we, we assume that our three variables are not co-integrated when the variables are not co-integrated then we should 
run unrestricted var but when the variables are co-integrated then we should run vector error correction model provided the variables are co-integrated but here we assume that our variables are not co-integrated so then we should run unrestricted var model because the variables are not co-integrated okay now you can see the lag 1 to 2 lags okay first I start with lag 1 then uh, then I shall be putting lag 2 and then I shall be putting lag 4 then I shall be choosing the model which has the lowest AIC value okay so I start with the lag 1 here is already lag 2 but I start with lag 1 I write here 1 you can see here is lag 1 then I run the unrestricted var model okay so I click ok you can see vector auto regression estimates and this one is called unrestricted var model so I go down I go down here and you can see here is Akai K information criteria 3.23 and also I can choose Shoharj criteria also I can take but but we cannot take both at a time suppose I choose Akaike information criteria to decide a model suppose I choose Akaike information criteria to decide the the uh, to de decide the number of lag okay what is the value of Akai K information criteria when I take one lag the value is 3.23 so this 3.23 is that is the total system value 3.23 is the total var system value but here you can see akaika also you can see akaika there are three aic value but this value 9.49 is for the first model for this one here cons is the dependent variable and the corresponding AIC is 9.49 and for the second model EX EX here is the dependent variable and you can see corresponding AIC is minus 1.59 and then you can see our third model GDP is the dependent variable and these are all independent variables you can see independent variables 
having lag 1 and this one is the coefficient of the model and the AIC value of GDP is 5.60 so <coughs> there are three AIC for three regression model but this AIC 3.23 AIC is for the whole model or for the whole VAR system so this one uh, we shall choose so what is the value of AIC when I take 1 lakh it is 3.23 okay okay then uh, what I shall do then uh, I shall be running unrestricted VAR model again with 2 lakh with 2 lakh okay run it estimate VAR so I put cons EX then GDP and here I choose lag 2 it is uh, already here lag 2 right then I run it okay you can see the lag 2 result right you see there are two lag for each variable lag 1 lag 2 lag 1 lag 2 because we have chosen 2 lag as a result uh, so what is the AIC value for the whole system the AIC value for the whole system is 2.97 right that is the value of the AIC for the whole lag for the whole unrestricted VAR model okay now uh, we shall choose four lags we shall choose four lags and see what happens I go to quick estimate VAR I write cons EX and GDP and here is already 2 lakh what I do I write here 4 4 lakhs okay then I run the model so this is VAR model unrestricted VAR and you see we have chosen 4 lakhs so each variable having 4 lakhs you can see right okay 4 lakhs and finally the constant or intercept and then what is the value of the AIC for the whole system you can see from here it is 2.31 that is the AIC value for the whole system when there are 4 lakhs so, uh, so what we have done we have chosen lag 1 we, we have chosen lag 2 we have chosen lag 4 so uh, so uh, in this way we can choose more lags but suppose we assume that we have taken only these three that means lag 1 lag 2 
and lack for okay so 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 when I took lag one then the value of AIC was 3.23 and when I take took lag two the value of the AIC was 2.97 and when I took lag four then the value of AIC became 2.3 one so out of these three which model is the best or how many lakhs we should choose what is the guideline the guideline is lower the AIC value or lower the Akaika information criteria better the model so so now uh, so uh, so model having lag 4 is the best because the value of akaike information criteria is the lowest which is 2.31 so that is the way of choosing a model or that is the way of choosing number of lakhs 